what he said. All right. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Cartographer's Guild. My name is Josh. I'm Andrea. I'm Brad. And we're playing Odin Sphere, Left for Seer. Uh, a good remake. Very good remake. Yep. Uh, let's see. We traded Leah for a new couch. Yep. And we're following the adventures of Edgelord, who has been sucked into uh, the underworld. And in our previous episode, we had an experimentation of after Easter eggs. And now, as many of you know, I typically drink Monster on the stream, because that's what keeps me awake. This time, I'm drinking Oblivion, also known as Red Bull. You know, because they taste the same. Ugh. Why are you doing that? Because it's been in our fridge for fucking ever, so I'm just going to drink it and get it out of the way. Because okay. we don't want Fiona drinking it. Uh. Stacy left it. Uh. Stacy is our Red Bull drinker. Yeah, see, this is the this is the like you can smell the energy drink that you don't Ugh, like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I still can't believe somebody told me I should drink that when I was pregnant. Mmm, I like that smooth chemical draw. <laughs> like somebody melted down Robocop and I'm drinking him. <laughs> uh, sadly, we don't have any Jaeger for you to mix with that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that might be the only way to make this acceptable. Although, here's the funny I thing. I still can't believe you like Jaeger bombs. <clears throat> yeah, it's a weird thing. But then again, I had also had a lot to drink that night, so maybe it was altering my taste buds. Because before I had the Jaeger bombs, I, I drank the Rainbow Road Challenge. Oh, right. I'd heard of that. Which was like seven different shots. Yep. So that might have been part of it. I don't know. What was that? It was a grape stem. He yeah, okay. I it earlier. So, uh, just for your information, it says, not recommended for children, pregnant, or nursing women, or persons sensitive to caffeine. Oh, that's so Who the fuck told you to drink this while you're pregnant? So it was a... So a goddamn idiot. Friend of my mom's. Whom, like, I think her husband works for the company or something. <laughs> but well, um, then she'd recommend drinking it to anybody. It smells really fruity, like but, candy fruit. Yeah, yeah, it's it's like chemical fruit. <laughs> but uh, this he, is yeah. But being pregnant makes you tired, like tired in a way that you did not know it was possible to be tired. Sure, you're hauling around an extra forty pounds of liquid weight. Which is also constantly uh, it's taking its up. nutrients and life from you. Yeah, it's sorry, it's constantly an extra forty pounds drinking. of vampiric <laughs> weight. Your glucose. And yeah, <laughs> it drains your life energy. Right, and so mom was like, you know, I, there's a woman that I know through work. Um, she recommended Red Bull, but she said you have to drink it iced, and um, you don't want to drink it from the can. You want to drink it in the glass because the smell might get to you. Which is also a thing when you're pregnant. Um, sensitivities to ah, everything. Ev life. Everything has the potential to make you nauseous <laughs> during certain stage of your pregnancy. Um, and like, I had like two sips and almost threw up, and we poured the rest out. <laughs> and that's my nipple story. <laughs> Ham goes, Dre, you carried Metroids. Yes. They're fully grown. Now they're fully grown Metroids. Yep. They're still sucking the life out of us. Mm -hmm. I mean, stop. Don't say that. <laughs> it was a long day of running other people around. I'm more tired. <laughs> Some days I sympathize with that more than others. And it's okay. They watch right. other streamers. They don't watch us. <laughs> I think... I think um, Agent Small Fluff watches us occasionally. <laughs> I think she watches us when we think we're going to see her watching us. <laughs> oh, Alright, it's done. Well done, sweetie. I realize it's a little late for this, but you could have just thrown it out. <laughs> yeah, we could have, but I'm also... I hate wasting stuff. No, I get that. I do. Yeah, I mean that that is a that is a household mentality of. But, but 
And I, you know, I, I have an energy drink when we stream, so I figure I might as well just whatever. And you're, you have that, you know, teenage boy ability to eat and drink things that you think are gross. <laughs> yeah, okay. No, this is... This is a this is a skill I equate with teenage boys, because like even like Russ can't do it now, but he could totally do it when he was a teenager. <laughs> and my little brother used to eat the most atrocious things because my older brother dared him to. Is that a small person inside there? <laughs> Oh, no. Haha, you missed. Eat my edge blaze. Quick, knock him into it. Try and He just kind of turned around and ignored him. That's cool. He's like, no, you won't push me into the constant damage stuff. Damn it. He's a jerk for not paying attention at all. Damn, Santa Bud. Just walk into him, it's fine. Well, they're waiting at Lake the Plague. Which, incidentally, is probably something they cost. Okay, that's hilarious. You were knocking him back mm -hmm. until just before he would have gotten into the blaze, and then he stopped cold. Yep. That is lame. Uh, okay. Button. Button. Okay. Oh, I can't open my menu. I learned a new thing about berserk. No menus for you. No I guess that makes sense. You're yeah. berserk. You shouldn't be able to use it's a little bit crazy or something. Okay. Gotcha. Arr, there we go. Have some fire. Okay, yes, please stop. And go so by hilarious, you mean not funny at all. Yes, correct. <clears throat> I often say that about terrible things. It's hilarious because I find the cruelty of the world funny. And I don't find these sort of thing. What was there? <clears throat> um, the fact that he stopped cold just before oh. falling into the fire. Yes. It is a little difficult to converse when everybody's 30 seconds or more behind you. But uh, we'll do our we'll do our damnedest because you know. The has gotten better. I'm usually like 15. Oh, okay. We care. We want to try. We don't always succeed. I don't know if our. Um, Improved uh, upload rate as of tomorrow will help with that or not. Who knows? I guess we'll find out. Hey, for new internet. To say, why, Josh? Whatever do you mean by new upload rate? Meaning we're um, giving Comcast the finger. <laughs> Moving on. The moving on part is what's different. <laughs> yeah, we give Comcast the finger all the time. <clears throat> but now we can do so on a more meaningful basis. Yep. Which is, not only are we giving you the finger, but we're also not paying you any more money anymore. Bye! The grease. Ham sent us hearts. Thank you, Ham. Okay. <sighs> I'm curious what's in there. So what's this? Oh, okay. Maurice, now then. Very well. Chicken. Ooh, you got it fancy. Chicken, good. 
Is there anything else you want to order? Everyone else like pulls a napkin out of them somewhere at the end of their meal. Not Oswald. <laughs> he ain't got time for that. My mouth has stayed like my soul. <laughs> you can't clean what is dirty from the depths of your soul. <laughs> Uh, what? <laughs> what happened? He was trying to attack the Queen of the Underworld. Have you settled uh. down from your little tantrum, Oswald? <clears throat> nope, new tantrum! <laughs> Dude, I'm the Did source you? of your power. That sword contains my power. Oh, hey, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm glad what's another egg. Uh, Carmel. That's what makes it good. Mm -hmm. That um, that can be taken two ways. Yeah, not really. What is it? You're interrupting an important conversation. That shameless fool. How uncivilized. Listen carefully, my dearest Oswald. A man will be arriving soon. I would like you to get rid of him for me. If you do this, I shall stop tormenting Well, pretty good deal. Cut me open if you want. My These answer. wounds will not heal. I apologize if I have offended you. Please, dear. I shall free you of the shackles that rot your body. Nothing has changed. Dude, that would change everything. I only serve a new master. Oh, she said she'd release you. From an ambitious toady to an autocratic empress. Mm -hmm. Who do you want me to kill? Your sword is more than a match for the evil jewel thief who approached us. Your name will go down in history, Oswald, as the man who killed Demon Lord Odin. Ooh. Yeah. Oh. Oh, except for a wall. But... Mm -hmm. <laughs> We know that doesn't happen. <coughs> uh, oh, I'm not full of <laughs> Wow. That was so. Uh, uh, oh, darn. Smash! <laughs> I think I've seen that show before. Can I do it now? Oh, he gave zero fucks about your berserk ability. Yeah. Also, not very easy to stop. Well, at least he stood there for the combo. Yeah, once. Come back. <laughs> ah! I'm very fast. You are. It's a DPC fight. I'm warping back and forth. We're doing another combo! Yeah! Bounce him off the wall! Yeah! Keep him up there! Keep going! Oh. Aww. <laughs> it was good, though. Yeah, no, I was entertained. Yeah, you drew that out for a nice amount of time. I got a bunch of volcanoes. That's why I think I did the break early. You did. Yeah, come on, switch. Ah, uh hi, -huh, big slow mice. It's almost like we have a giant one. Yeah, I know, but I, for some reason, I had in my mind that it was at 9,000. The, the clock did its job. I was just counting. Mm -hmm. That's. Yay, a bone! That treasure chest had a bone in it. <laughs> I 
he just casually dropped a cycle. It was a very dismissful. <laughs> yeah. So he thought like, kind of stares at it and yeah, just kind of drops to the ground. It's like he didn't even intend on using it. He just picked it up and went, no, this isn't the one I wanted, and just kind of tossed it. I actually wanted a heal potion, because Oswald was kicking my ass. <laughs> a little bit. Oh. No! My blood, which has crystallized into little purple floaties. Lay down your sword. No, I'm winning. I accept Oh, okay. <laughs> and shall leave this place. I was told to kill you. Do you really think I would let you survive after we have fought? Let me show you that naivety has no place in battle. Wait. Is this how you show your loyalty to the Fairy Queen? No. No. I am no longer associated with that place. You are in the netherworld. Yet you still live. I shall not inquire as to how you ended up here. Shadow Knight, if you desist, I shall take you from the netherworld. I know of a path that lets me freely come and go from this realm. That's a neat trick. Mm -hmm. Or would you rather become the queen's servant and rot here? Is that what you no, wish? No, she said she'd take the rot away. I have no one to pledge myself to. Your terms, I accept. So, now here's the thing. So does that mean that, does the queen still take the rod away though? Because he at least got rid of Odin? Or is he still rotting from the inside? Or do we find that out in a minute? Well, I'm not clear on that, to be honest. Uh, you know, I'm not sure either. Uh, did you find Madness, by the way? I wasn't paying attention. Yeah, I got Madness. Okay. Oh, I like Madness. Wait, what does it do? Sorry, the only thing I read it's, was enters Berserk Mode for a time. Yeah, so you can spend PP to go into Berserk Mode oh, okay. instead of waiting for the meter to build up. Gotcha. Why is it called the Black Sword? The sword's not actually black. Well, I mean, I guess it part is, of except it's for the but the sword's more red than anything oh, else. Well, that's the crystal. Shadow Knight, have you betrayed the fairy kingdom like we dwarves have? <laughs> no. Like everyone has. Shadow Knight, you, you Hi. stay still. Have you not heard? He is the king's guest, but he killed so many of... Things change. Shadow Knight. Things change. Be on your way. Politics is fickle. You're the Shadow Knight. I'll kill you! Raise your blade! Very well. Shall we duel? <laughs> I'm a traveling vendor. Is there? <laughs> I don't know who you are and I don't care. Can I tell, sell you something? <laughs> Have some hmm. goodies. Ice proof charm and warmer. I wonder where we're going next. I have no idea. I have money. I believe it'd be you have money. Yeah, it's, it's more accurate. I realized that after I said it, but I wasn't going to call attention to it. Shadow Knight. Like, Thank you for. The king of a nation has recognized the power you hold. <laughs> Will you not listen to my request? Yep, nope. Edward. Wait. What arrogance. Ah, I can compensate you. I shall bequeath one of my castles to you. It is small and old, but it should be a suitable reward for what I ask. In addition, I shall reward you with a magic spear. You may have seen it in war, but it is a work of art. It is far more valuable than any other cipher. You stubborn fool. Is this still not enough for you? Wait, what did he show? Then what about my daughter? Yeah. Will my daughter Gwendolyn the work be of enough art. for you? Uh, I must have missed it. He, he was offering to give him Gwendolyn's piece. Oh, okay. What do you ask of me? Ah, now you show interest. 
I have a target for you. Wagner, the vicious really dragon that lives assassin. on Horn Mountain. <laughs> Since you have already killed one dragon, this should not be too difficult. Sure, whatever. Might as well live if up to I my name. If I kill this dragon for you, you'll give me your daughter? I, I swear. What is it you seek? Should I just kill it without knowing why? You do not need to know. There must be some ulterior motive. But very well. I shall accept your request. Lord Pancake. Do not forget your promise. Oh, it's not a problem. My daughter means nothing to me. <laughs> Pish posh. Pish posh. Hello, Snowy Mountain, home of the snowball throwing yetis. The shiny! I mean, I can always have more daughters, really. Maybe I'll get lucky and get a son next time. Have you seen my harem? Well, no, actually, of course you haven't. <laughs> That's the ice wall. No, they're hidden away! They're in a bunker, 20 miles beneath, beneath the surface of the earth. They're in the volcanic layers, because they're all hotties. You're welcome for that one. the worst. <laughs> Why would you say such mean things to me? Hmm. <clears throat> oh. I'll be back. Okay. <clears throat> Fatal raid. Your vision. I need to start looking up recipes from Portugal. Oh yeah, you do. You get oh, wasn't it? Uh, um, wasn't paella one of the choices? Uh, maybe. I'll have to look. Eurovision, Eurovision. <gasps> That's what we should do. We should totally like stream responses to Eurovision. Sure. It's on Saturday. <laughs> Have a special, you know, watch Eurovision with the cartographers game thing. Mm -hmm. It could be fun. You guys gonna join us for that? Totally should. Eurovision's awesome. And if you don't think so, you can eat it. Okay. Not really. I'm not gonna be that mean about it, but <clears throat> Eurovision's pretty cool. What? Oh, okay. I was like, the fruit's there! What are you waiting for? Because he's gonna have steamed salmon, of course. Mmm, steamed salmon. Wait, steamed salmon? Mm hmm. Okay. I'm really not one for steamed meats. Yeah. I don't think it's a proper way to cook. I mean, I'm all, I'm all for steamed vegetables, but I don't know. You don't have milk. <clears throat> Would you think that um, uh, 
I should probably ask this question when Dre gets back. Probably. <laughs> More but I'll still want your opinion. Now then. Hmm. Go back. Sam and Escabeche? Isn't that yeah. what you want to do? No, I wanted to. I was wanted to do. Oh, new steam sand. Okay. But well, we need milk. Yeah. And this guy doesn't have it. Do we not have a cow plant? Can we not grow cows? I don't think we can. Actually, travesty. There's no yogurt. I do not need to keep yogurt on my lips. <laughs> what? How weird. Go get that skill. Hello, so Yeti. Mm. It's like more than Yeah. Also against like a boss or something like that. Because oh. I honestly thought you were gonna slide along the ground a little further. Yeah. Shank Yeti. What? Hey, rank. Rad. I'm trying to be less concerned about getting us ranks because I end up playing in a more boring <laughs> way when I do it. Okay. Well, whatever, whatever keeps you entertained. Mm -hmm. Rising void. Enormous black flame that draws in foes. That sounds useful. Yeah. Instead of. Something jutting out of the ground that they can easily avoid. Mm -hmm. Brad got a new skill. Also, I got a recipe for steamed salmon, and Josh wanted to say something regarding it. Yes. So I, I was saying that I'm not one for steamed meats. I don't think that's a proper way to cook okay. meat. Like I'm all for steamed vegetables. That's okay. But I don't think I think meat of any kind needs a hardier cooking method. But okay. I was also going to say, do you think sous vide is just glorified steaming? Kind of. <laughs> although it doesn't actually touch the water as opposed to steam. Right. Although um, a lot of uh, when you when you make a lot of meat sous vide, mm -hmm. um, you do that to get to the right internal temperature. Right, and, and then, then you, you sear, sear them afterwards. Yeah. So that would actually make them better than steam stuff, because the most horrific tragedy ever done to meat, I mean, it's pure heresy, is White Castle. White Castle is just absolute garbage. I cannot understand how anybody likes them. Because they grew up uh, on it. But they are steamed burgers. I know. They're so gross. I can say this. Having experienced them, I know for a fact they are nasty. <laughs> and I love all things dead cow. But oh my god. Those things are so gross. <clears throat> That's what Skinner meant by steamed hams. Good lord. Mmm, somebody's got a... I can't believe they call it shrimp. That is so not a shrimp. That is a lobster. Shrimps do not have claws that big. Or really claws at all. Did that cup yes. thing just knock you over? It did. Yep. Well, remember, the habanistros can set you on fire. Yeah. Right. They do real damage. And every yeti rude the day, you came into their sight. I thought these were trolls. Well, the, the little guys. Okay. Aren't they? Aren't the little guys yetis? Yeah. The, the snowy ones? Yeah. Pretty sure. Skill. Rising Void. Nice. That's pretty all right. right. You throw down a what is it a flare or whatever or a blaze. Throw down a blaze and then hit that right on top of it. Did it just scare us? I think it's smack in my least it's in half of them. Nope, you're right, trolls. 
My bad. I thought they were Yetis. But really, in some mythologies, aren't they the same? Uh, I would have to know more about the myth of the Yeti. Mm -hmm. I know a lot more about trolls than I do Yetis. I thought Yetis were related to big ass. Something else I don't really know a lot about. I mean, I've heard that as well. Because I know in some... Again, some mythologies or some mythos, whatever you want to label it, uh, they consider, like, Yetis are just um, mountainous or snowbound troll uh, uh, Bigfoots. Big um, feats? Sasquatch. Um, but the the thing is that they're... What's the goal of Sasquatch? I thought it was like sheep. It's Sasquatch? Always just, I thought it was always just Sasquatch. Sasquatch. Sasquatches? I thought it was always just Sasquatch. Sasquai. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Grammatically, I think it would be Sasquatches. <clears throat> There's a chest at the top of it, I think. Ah. Those men are just full of stuff. Thank you for my overload. Isn't that the thing you throw in garbage? Oh, your inventory is actually almost full. Oh, no. No. This no. is damage. You monster. The poor butterflies. Exactly. Stealing their life force and their yogurt. <laughs> Who came through here and made all these snowmen? The trolls. Why did they stuff all of their money inside? I think that's what they do to dead adventurers. They pack them in snow and make them into snow, snow totems. <laughs> So, I don't know if this will increase your uh, enjoyment of it or what, but uh, I don't know if you've seen that Monster Hunter World has emotes. Like, okay. you can get all sorts of different kinds of emotes. Okay. And I don't know if you find that entertaining. Um, I like stuff like that if it's not hard to use. I have no idea. I have found in a lot of... I found in a lot of MMOs that, like, the... The steps you have to go through to use the emote, um, a lot of times the moment has passed by the time you get the stupid thing off. <laughs> yeah, it's like two menus deep or whatever. Yeah. yeah. What I find really funny is that, uh, and I'm guessing the reason why this has been so pro prolific with the new um, Monster Hunter World is because you can actually set it so you can see health bars okay. on the monsters. Okay. Can't you, or is it just health numbers? I know you can see health numbers. I don't know about that. Okay. Um, but um, certain emotes will actually do damage. Mm. And so it's really funny uh, videos of people killing monsters with their emotes. Mm. Like, one of them because they had some, like, costuming deal where you could get, like, Ryu from Street Fighter mm -hmm. type thing. So one of them was the Hadouken. Mm -hmm. And it actually shoots a fireball. Oh, okay. And uh, people have been using it to set off the uh, bomb traps. Gotcha. Hmm, it's quite chilly this way. 
Usually that thing doesn't kick on that much. It's cold, I told you. Just because you don't get cold until we go to bed. Yes. I become weak when I'm sleepy. And come on, apples. Hot shaped fruit. Will oh. grant you the power of the Black Panther? That's oh, wait, it's not purple. So I was watching a um, movie review of Black Panther today. Uh huh. And they made an interesting note, which, since I don't know the Marvel Universe um, thus far, I didn't really think about it. Okay. But one of the things that they were saying was like the source of the heart shaped herb. Mm -hmm. and all the other kind of almost magical powers that people are getting from vibranium yeah. is because there's one of the infinity stones in <laughs> yeah. that meteor that came down oh. and it's kind of tainted everything else they said it might have been the soul gem which is also why the people from Wakanda go on those like um, on those trips the vision quest yeah the vision quest to see their ancestors mm -hmm. and they're saying that it's like actually a soul realm that the gem creates and projects into the mind of people who eat the herb hmm that would make sense. Yeah. That, that Soul Realm thing is a thing that the Soul Gem could do in the comics. Morris, I thought so, I that was cool. But yeah, since I don't know the Marvel Universe that well, I didn't really think about it. But it was an interesting note. Very well. Was the rest of the review, oh my god, this movie is amazing? No, no, actually it was pretty good. I don't um, know, fuck them. No, uh, <laughs> they, they did love the movie. Oh, okay. They said it was great. But uh, like one of, one of the reviewers um, had different ranks for Marvel movies. Uh -huh. And they said that um, Black Panther was an A rank Marvel movie, okay. so really, really, really good. But it wasn't S rank. Okay. And their S rank for mo their S rank uh, for Marvel movies was, I think it was Guardians of the Galaxy and Thor Ragnarok, and there might have been one other. But still need to see that. so yeah, I, know, I still need to see Thor Ragnarok too. Just need to like find it in a trailer right. or something again. Yeah. Get it over week. with. Yeah, once we <laughs> when we have like an open weekend, so that ever happens. An open weekend. <laughs> You're adorable. An open like, an open night evening. You know. What about Sunday? Uh, this Sunday? Yeah. I don't know. I mean, because I don't know about you, but I don't really plan on doing anything this Sunday other than recovering from Saturday and having brunch. Excuse me. Sorry, I think I'm okay this Sunday. So, we'll see about that. That's good. Um, oh, yeah. So, what they were saying was, like, um, Black Panther was the Marvel, um, the Marvel formula perfected, uh -huh. which is okay. why it's A rank. And then the S rank stuff is, like, above and beyond the Marvel formula. It breaks through it. It does something extra special. Okay. Type stuff. So they, uh, by all means, they still really loved it, and they also, although they did, they did have a couple of notes where they're like, "Yeah, this was good," but you can also tell like, like this was the, this particular part of the movie or whatever was the rush job for the CG guys. Mm -hmm. Like they weren't particularly fond of the uh, CG rhinos in the fight scene. Okay. Um, just said like the quality is bad, and a couple of shots that they did like the. Um, What's here? Uh, if you haven't seen uh, Black Panther, one, what the hell's wrong with you? Uh, two, slight spoiler. Well, actually, major spoiler. So if you don't want to hear it, just shut off audio for like two minutes. Um, so in the final scene, mm -hmm. when Killmonger's dying and they're right. seeing the sunset, they're saying that that like, huge ultra wide angle yeah. of the sunset and the two little guys sitting there was just terrible CG. And of course, I was caught up in it, so I wasn't really noticing this kind of stuff. But I could right. kind of understand what they were talking about. And the other one was whenever they were doing the trials, mm -hmm. and they panned up to all the people in the waterfall. Yeah. It was like they were like the, as they stated, they were like the um, audience members in, in like the Mortal Kombat video game, where uh -huh. they're all like doing the same animation type <laughs> oh. stuff and what oh, have you. Yeah. So, okay, you can come back now. <laughs> I, I'm doing the motion, so they know I'm done. I hope that works. <laughs> yes, 
Maybe I'll put something on the uh, YouTube video, the little, you know, mute now and then just keep it flashing in the background and then unmute when we're done with the thing. Yeah. I got a smiley from him, so I guess he got it. Yay. <laughs> <clears throat> but yeah, I really want to see the water rock. I feel bad that we... Oh, that's a new piece of equipment. But it's a plus one. No, I, I, I'm looking forward to seeing Defense it. 23. Yeah, but I really like draw ring. And okay. I mean, I already know what happens. What, in Ragnarok? Yeah. Oh, did you read spoilers? No, but the internet can't shut up. Okay. So... Well, I... I was, and I guess, successfully able to avoid that, so I don't know what happened. And if you saw more than two different trailers, they gave you most of the movie. Yep, this is why I don't watch trailers. Mm. Oh. We saw a really bad one today. Oh. Trey and I saw a trailer for the for the uh, movie The Mag, or The Meg. The Meg. The Meg, which is a, uh, it, 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 it's a, it looks like a great popcorn movie is what it is, because it's Jason Statham as, who knows what he's supposed to be. I'm going to throw it out there and say marine biologist, but I seriously doubt that's actually what he's supposed it's, to be. It's Jason Statham playing Jason Statham. Yeah. Okay. Um, Which is always fun. His best role. Yeah, yeah it is his best role. <clears throat> I mean, I'm, I'm always there for it. <laughs> but um, evidently, these uh, guys who are exploring the ocean or whatever accidentally awaken or come across a megalodon. You know the largest shark in existence, okay. type thing, and um, it supposed like supposed to be extinct. Yeah, and that was supposed to be extinct <laughs> millions of years ago, right. and it uh, it starts attacking. Like it actually surfaces and starts, you know, going after people and stuff like that and what have you. But we watched that you trailer. Would, huh? So you would think every, you would think we would all be so beneath its notice. Yeah, really. <laughs> uh, given what we know of the scary depths of the ocean. It, I mean, in the trailer, it attacks and kills a giant squid. So you would think, okay, giant squid is going to be right where it wants to eat. We're we're nothing more than snack food. I mean, we're we're not worth the effort. Yeah. Um, especially since we're always in that hard, crunchy outer coating known as a submersible. So. <laughs> but anyway. But anyways, so they basically gave away the entire movie in the trailer. So. Pretty much. Unless when Jason Statham says, chew on this, you son of a bitch, and whatever he's on, that mega torpedo or whatever they use doesn't kill it, then... <laughs> I don't know. I think... I, th um, I kind of suspect it's going to be some version of Deep Blue Sea during starring Jason Statham. We're going to find out that we created the metal on. <laughs> Or that something we did, you know, pollution, mm -hmm. nuclear radiation. Mm -hmm. That's always a popular one. Hello, yeah, Godzilla. Fans. Yeah, I mean, it's not going to be genetic experimentation this time. It would just be like generic uh, toxic At waves, atmosphere changing. Yeah. Although I will oh, say the uh, heavy shoes. oh yeah, need heavy shoes. Although I will say the um, the uh, sea base that they have in that in the trailer looks pretty cool. Mm mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean it looked uh, near future. But oh, so something that I thought was funny. Is there a place we can get heavy shoes? I haven't seen it. That's why I'm confused. Yeah. Um. Do you have to? Oh, okay. Maybe it's in one of the. Did, have you bought an area map yet? Yeah. Okay. Maybe someone's selling them. Yeah. Oh, but an interesting thing I saw when we um, finished uh, when we finished Subnautica is the large submarine in Subnautica, the Cyclops, uh -huh. is copyrighted to a submersible company. Uh -huh. And so I looked it up. Their Cyclops is not the Cyclops. I don't know why there's a copyright on 
it. That's uh, kind of funny. Because, because they called it the cycle? I guess. I don't know. I mean, the only thing that's the same is it's like a bubble front canopy. Uh-huh. And that's it. After that, it's like a teardrop shape. And okay. it's like a one-person submersible. Right. As opposed to the one in, in Subnautica, which is a large three-person submersible that's like 40 foot long. So, I don't know why they called it that. Mm. <laughs> So, do you sell heavy shoes? No, I, I got them in the last place. I wanted another milk. Oh, okay, so you already bought them? Yeah. Oh, that's great. Oh, I didn't even see it. Crazy. Okay. My eyes itch. I blame the improving weather and your dog. You blame everything on the dog. Yeah, well. He's frequently correct. Yep. Wrong direction. I was doing that to get the checkpoint. Oh, okay. We can teleport back. Oh. Well, and I am like a tiny bit allergic to the dog. She is probably on some small level responsible for my eye itchies. Sorry, Shunny. <laughs> oh no. Ham goes, speaking of Subnautica, what the bleep, bleep, bleep? Um, <laughs> did I horribly screw something up for you? Because if so, I'm sorry. I did I did note on the stream that we were doing storyline stuff. Unless you want to just discuss some part of it, at which point, let's, let's do it. But I really hope I didn't ruin anything for you. Oh, no. <laughs> What? Ham was watching my stream while waiting for the sunbeam to arrive. That's so early in the game. Oh. I really hope... Oh, God. I might have screwed up everything for him. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. He said not my fault. Still, sorry. But, uh... Oh, he wants to discuss rant. Excellent. Okay, Ham, let's do it. <laughs> let's talk Subnautica during our, uh... <laughs> during our, uh, gameplay of, uh... Odin Sphere. <laughs> oh, you, uh, you got hurt. Yeah, this guy's doing a lot of damage. <laughs> it's probably because Here's I refuse to use any other exceptions. Yes. I like this dirty pink horn, though. I wish he would be trying to kill us. I, I do not want to be up here. Why am I up here? I don't know. Is there some gameplay where he's not the bad guy? Somebody's chapter where he's not a bad guy? I doubt it. But. Nope. He's always a bad guy. Dang it. He's a rock monster. <laughs> it's not like he has a deep and involved story. Too true, too true. Wait, that's your problem. You never took the craft seriously. <laughs> <laughs> Can't do that on him. Okay, so... <clears throat> oh, hey, I think we'll discuss that in, after the break. Oh, I was going to so, say, so, if you uh, give me the Ham computer, I will play the part of Ham. <laughs> okay, well, <laughs> Ham, we'll get to you in just a minute. Uh, we're, we're, as soon as Brad finishes his boss, we'll do a break, and then we'll go ahead and go to your rant discussion. Oh, wow, this guy's kind of a giant pain in the butt. I don't like Subnautica because it makes me nauseous. Yeah, well, it's because it's first person. End. Did you know that you can play Subnautica in VR? I am a little worried about VR. Like it's going to make you super nauseous? Yeah. Like very inst possible. Insta vomit? Yeah. Yeah, there's. Although I've also heard that some people say the more you do it, the uh, easier it gets on you. Which is probably true, because the more I play first-person <laughs> games, the longer I can play them. <laughs> Ham says, good job uh, boss fighting, Brad. Thanks. And he also said, the part of Ham Omelette will be played tonight by the lovely Drea Town. <laughs> okay, so hurry up and beat this boss so we can do it. I'm <laughs> Doesn't let me condo him in any kind of fun way. He's a giant rock monster. Can you do your uh what is it? Uh if I had to kill him, I would keep his horn as a trophy. Oh, okay, he's dead. 
Okay, well, with the troll dead, I will go ahead and break there. So, of course, those on Twitch, hang on for a second. Those on YouTube, thanks so much for swinging by, and we'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye!